Hey guys, it's Mr. Leonidas here. I hope you're doing well. And uh, my good friend Brendan of the Survival Craft channel, he asked me to show my survival setup for the Sniper Bladeworks SOF chopper I have here. I've done several video reviews of this awesome uh, Golok style knife. Got a really neat paint job on there. And if you haven't seen those reviews, please check them out. I had a lot of fun and put this knife through the paces and it did really well. And it's one of my favorite outdoor fixed blade uh, survival type knives. But uh, Brandon wanted to check out my survival sheath because um, it is pretty unique. Uh, first and foremost, the sheath is a frog system for the British the SA-80 type bayonet. And I made a shroud for it and also attached uh, two uh, medium sized uh, pouches on there, molly type pouches. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take a closer look at this uh, awesome uh, survival knife setup. I'm gonna call this a deluxe survival sheath. I'm not gonna call it an ultimate or epic or anything like that. I mean, it, although I think it's pretty good for uh, for what I've got in it. And All how right, I have so it now we're gonna take a closer look at how I set up the SOF chopper survival sheath. And I'll go ahead and pull out the chopper itself. And I know Survival Craft was interested in taking a look at this blade camo. I designed it's just really a simple uh, spray paint type camouflage I did I made some blocky type stencils and basically created a modified and large digital camouflage I think it turned out pretty well I'm not gonna say it actually works all that great but I think it looks really cool so all right let's take a look at the sheath here okay so it is built around a British surplus SA 80 bayonet frog which is pretty cool it's a, it is a camouflage sheath um, and this is what the SOF chopper comes with. It uses the frog system. Now what's different is this shroud I made for it. You can actually buy these online from a couple different websites. I just went ahead and made one one night and it actually turned out pretty well. Basically it's just a shroud. It uh, slides up, snaps on. It has some molly webbing on the front. I'm not gonna take these pouches off. Um, you can see what's going on there, no problem. But it's, it's basically just a shroud that goes over this sheath frog and I think it turned out really well and it's very secure on the sheath system no problem those pouches aren't going anywhere so I'll first pull out what I've got in the back here I slid it down uh, the back side of my shroud I've got a little buck skinner and a top survival saw so those are two really great items to have in a kit and reason being you know this there's many many purposes for a saw the little uh, buck skinner we'll take a closer look at that i don't remember the actual model name but the deal with the buck skinner is this is good for processing game or fish you know or whatever you know whether type food you know around the camp it could be vegetables no problem on that it's a really good slicer and this top saw is really neat you know can saw through uh whatever you know i would say metal this is basically uh, like a little hacksaw blade so any kind of metals bone wood anything like that just a great little addition so that's why I got stashed in the back of the shroud there you can see how that just it just slides on and then you just snap that over it no problem all right so I'll get in the first pouch here this is a grenade pouch I think it's a black water gear it is in the digi camo and you can find a lot of this surplus gear all over uh, the internet uh, no problem great prices uh, one of the first things Keep my fire starting equipment in the top pouch there just to light my fire fire steel uh, this was made by my friend mike mike gap he designed the eco hawk uh, this is a really cool sling made out of paracord so you can use this you know and uh, sling rocks at a small game if you had to you got and you got paracord for survival purposes pretty cool always a good idea to have extra cord quick fixes and you know there's a lot of debate about these you know do they tear up your edge I'm gonna say it's a quick fix that's all it is you know is it the greatest thing ever for your knife play probably not but it does get your edge sharp and and fairly quickly so I always keep something keep the keep the blade sharp in there and next up keep a little Gerber dime in here it's a really neat multi-tool really like this dime it's it's very snappy when it comes out so the spring loaded Got all kinds of cool little tools on there. Really like it. Pretty lightweight for what it is. And got some more goodies in here. Got a big lighter. Always got to have a big lighter. Keep it up with my fire making stuff. And then I got a wet fire bundle. 
I'm sorry, it's a fast fire. I also use the wet fire as well. I think the fast fire is a little bit better. You can get these online as well. You got multiple uses from these. Actually, really great little emergency items. That's it for the first pouch. So, decent amount of stuff in there. Let's go and clip that. All right, going to the last pouch. This is an Israeli IDF pouch, a uh, really old surplus type, and I just uh, put some digital camouflage material on there. And then in here, I've got a Tops survival whistle. I've got it attached to a Silva uh, directional engineer type compass. Really good compasses, you know, for map reading, and really high quality. A good friend of mine, he got that for me. Just a great item for any kid. Okay. And then, and wow, almost done. A few more items in here. We've got some duct tape with a ranger band on there. And then some Israeli Oasis water purification tablets. Got those uh, ready to go to get the, the water purified and safe, you know, instead of getting sick from it. You got some tabs to use on that. All right, so that's pretty much what I've got in the survival knife sheath here uh, i've seen people do more i've seen people do a whole lot less it's just it's all preferential these are items that i have used on and off when i'm out hiking or camping and they uh, they really work for me and that's just how i got it set up just um pretty neat setup i gotta say i really like having the dual pouches on there and it's, it's pretty streamlined for what it is Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed a closer look at the survival knife sheath setup for my Sniper Bladeworks SOF chopper. And like I said before, this is not an ultimate or end-all, do-all type survival kit. Although I will say I think it's quite decent and uh, it'll get the job done in most scenarios. But you know, everyone has their preferences. I think this is something that's always up for debate is how to set up your gear. Uh, you know, for survival type purposes, there's always items you can add, there's always items you can remove. This is just how I set up mine, and I think for what it is, I mean, it, it is streamlined, and this is something that doesn't really actually get in my way, believe it or not. I just wear it on my hip, and I kind of have it off to the side, and I can still have pretty good range of motion. No problem on that. And uh, that's another thing I recommend, is having a pretty decent kit, if you can, on your knife because a lot of you knife guys out there, when you're out camping and things like that, your knife, especially a fixed blade knife, is something that's going to be on your person all the time. That's why I have like my big lighter in here because I use that around camp uh, quite a bit and I've got it right there where I need it very quick, very fast access and that's a you know, great idea to have a kit like that in your knife not only because it is very convenient it's also you know having that extra buffer of this extra kit that's going to be on your person all the time you know for some crazy reason if I lost my backpack with all my gear I've still got a pretty decent kit here I mean it's not bad at all. You know, this if you're smart enough and thrifty enough how you uh, you how you use this gear, you could make it. Gave you uh, any good ideas of how to set your kit up? Uh, you know, that's great. Um, I love to hear it. And also, you know, if you have any questions, uh, comments, how maybe I could modify this, or you know, add or remove. You know, I'm always up for discussion. It's it's not a problem. Um, you know, as long as everybody's being constructive, I think that's you know that's how we all learn. So all right, guys. So this is Mr. Lee and I signing out. And as always. Have a good one. Thanks.